Hello everyone. Aside from being an accountant, my other business or passion is selling inspired perfume. And this is our brand here. What we do is we mix the raw materials for each kind of perfume, age them in dark glass containers for 30 days, and it looks like this. After aging for 30 days, we then transfer them to 90 ml bottles, put in the stickers or the brand, then shrink wrap for added protection. And once we sell each bottle of perfume, it comes in customized drawstring pouch. And it looks like this. We sell to end users and we also sell to resellers by rebranding. So rebranding is we stick the reseller's own brand to each bottle of perfume to look like it's their own brand. And these are some of the examples. These are our perfumes, but we put in the stickers or the brand of our resellers. Okay, there. So the inventory assembly feature of QuickBooks is very useful in our business, especially in inventory management. This is very useful in manufacturing businesses because it will let us identify the quantity and value of raw materials and finished products. So for today, I will show you how to do inventory assembly in QuickBooks. So I will go to the items and services icon where we have our inventory and this is our raw materials. It is coded and these are the other materials that we need for each bottle of perfume. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create an inventory assembly for our finished product. So I will right click and then new and then I will choose the inventory assembly type. And the name of the item is Finished Products, FP, Lacoste Red. Then I will just copy this and put in the description. I won't put a cost because QuickBooks will automatically assign the cost based on average costing. The COGS account is cost of goods sold. The sales price is 170 this is the price for the end users. I have a different pricing for the resellers. And the income account when sold is merchandise sales. And this is the bill of materials. I made an Excel file for my formulation or for the bill of materials. Okay, this portion here. So the first raw material that I need is fragrance oil or FO. And I need 18 ml for each bottle. So I'll go back to QuickBooks and put in FO, 18 ml. And then next is PGA. I need 54 ml. Next is DPG, 6 ml. DW, 6 ml. And FIX. 6 ml okay and i also need one shrink wrap one label one pouch and of course one bottle so these are all the materials or the ingredients that i need for each bottle of perfume Again, just disregard the total cost because it's average costing. And the inventory asset account is finished products. Okay, there. And I will click OK. So next is we're going to formulate our perfume. So we're going to build an assembly. So I'll go to the home page. And then I will click the drop down arrow in inventory activities. And then I will click build assemblies. The assembly item that we're going to make is Lacoste Red. The date is November 2nd. This is for your reference number. And as you can see, QuickBooks will automatically populate the components needed to build Lacoste Red. And QuickBooks will also give you the maximum number of pieces that you can build from the quantity that you have on hand. So it's 50 pieces or 50 bottles of 90 ml Lacoste Red. But for now, we're going to just build 30 pieces. 
All right. After I typed in 30, QuickBooks will automatically populate the quantity that we need for 30 pieces of perfume. So I will click build and close. So let's go back to our items and services window and let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, we now have 30 pieces of Lacoste Red 90 ml bottles in this inventory. Okay, and then let's try to run a quick report for the for some of the raw materials. Let's start with the fix. So I will right click and then quick report. Okay, there. So we had an opening balance of 1000 ml for the fix. And we created 30 bottles of perfume and it needed 180 ml of fix. So the remaining quantity that we have is 820 ml. Let's try PGA. Right click and then quick report. So we had an opening balance of 20,000 and then we deducted 1,620 ml of PGA. So we have 18,380 on hand. So once we build an assembly, QuickBooks will deduct the raw materials and then transfer it over to the finished product or the inventory assembly. So let's check what's the journal entry for the assembly transaction. I will right click and then quick report on Lacoste Red. And then I will click the build assembly and I will press Control Y so we can bring up the journal entry for this transaction. All right, here. So as you can see, QuickBooks debited 2,594.94 to finished products and then credited the following amount from the inventory asset account. So basically, QuickBooks just transfers the amount from one other current asset account to another other current asset account. Okay, so there. So once we sell an inventory, that's the time that QuickBooks will credit merchandise sales account and then debit cost of goods sold. So let's try to sell the items. I will click create sales receipts. And then I will just leave the other information blank. I'll go directly to the item. So Lacoste Red here. And then once we click this, it will give you the quantity that you have on hand so you have an idea as to how many you can sell okay so i will sell 15 pieces 170 pesos each so the total amount is 2550 pesos i will click save here and then i will press Control y so we can see the journal entry of this transaction okay there so as you can see it debited 2550 to the Bank of America account and then it credited 2550 to merchandise sales and it also credited or deducted 1297.47 from our finished products account and it credited 1297.47 to cost of goods sold so this is the journal entry when selling inventory or inventory assembly it will deduct from the finished product. In a retail business, the credit account here is usually inventory asset. So since we have an inventory assembly, it credited finished products. Okay, so let's go back to our homepage and to our items and services window. And let's check our Lacoste thread. Control Q is the shortcut for quick report. Okay, so as you can see, we had 30 pieces assembled. So we sold 15, so we only have 15 pieces left on hand. Okay, there. So that's how we do inventory assembly in QuickBooks. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.